This tutorial will show you how to set the conversion date for your company and enter opening balances into the chart of account. Once you are in your company, come to settings, general settings, and click on conversion balances. First thing I want you to do is to add the conversion date. You will find this information in the exercise that you are working off. For the kayak exercise, you are told that it is the 1st of November that you decide to start using Xero as accounting software. So your conversion date in here will be November. and we save You're now taken back to the um, conversion balances screen and here we're going to enter the information that you would have been given uh, on your exercise sheet first thing to do is to show all accounts And now we will go through and put in the appropriate balances from the information provided. As you are entering in the debit and credit balances, you'll see that it keeps track down here. You are wait, uh, waiting until it is um, a zero balance because your debit should equal your credits. So the capital for the kayaks exercise, 61,000, and you can see now the adjustments are at zero. So I've entered all the appropriate balances, noting that the accumulated depreciation are credit balances. And I want to lock the balances as at the 31st of October and now save. Because we entered an amount for accounts receivable and for accounts payable, it is defaulted through to these next screens which are asking us to put the information in. So accounts receivable, we enter a opening balance of $590 and so it is wanting to know who actually owes us this money. Because we added a opening balance for accounts receivable and accounts payable, you will uh, automatically be taken to the following screens. Um, the, you'll get the information about who the accounts receivable and payable people are from the exercise you are doing. For the kayak exercise, we are told that it is Blue Water who owe us the $590. We're going to add the invoice. It is to Blue Water. We will leave it at the 31st of October. The uh, due date is 20th the month following. Leave the invoice number. The reference for this is an opening balance. In the description, we call it the opening balance. One. Quantity is one and the unit price is what they are owing us in this case is 590. The account we are looking for is um, the historical adjustment. So you can start typing it and it will come up. So you'll now see 590, no GST. I want that saved. You'll see it comes through that our total sales invoices is matching the total accounts receivable balance that we entered. Click the next and it should come up with the accounts payable amount owing which in the kayaks exercise was $3,000. Again we need to go in and add to say who we actually um, owe the money to. So in the kayaks exercise it's kayak world Leave it as the 31st, so therefore that is June 20th of November. And the reference opening balance. 
again in the description. Tab across one quantity is three thousand dollars. Again, the account that we are signing it to is a historical adjustment. Save, and you should see it matched up nicely. And just click the next button and all the opening balances are done.